Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement of trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Sinuka Attack, a differently unique take on the traditional platformer genre. Now, this game was developed by Noex, East Asia Soft and was also published by East Asia Soft. It's also available for a very small £4.19 and can be done within literally 10 minutes. <laughs> So our main objective is to basically pot giant snooker balls against various items, such as switches, etc, to be able to go through to the next door, instead of basically sticking it and shoving it up enemies. We're not shoving it up enemies, I mean beating enemies, obviously. You know what I meant. Uh, anyway, th that's all there is to it. The, the achievements are piss easy. Basically, they're all unmissable as we only have to get to level 13, so we need to complete the first 12 levels. Hit the balls a number of times and hit switches a number of times as well. It really, really is that simple. So, for once, I'm actually doing a very easy game. So, like I said, with that being said, let us begin. And to be fair, it is kind of a tricky one to get used to. You basically jump with the uh, left bumper button. But the longer you press it, the higher you jump. And, it, and it's the same with the snooker cue, um, which you use with the right trigger. So obviously, if you just tap it, it's just a little um, little tap of the ball, like so, as you'll see now. So if you just tap it, it's going to move the ball very slowly. But obviously, the longer you hold the right trigger down, the longer uh, the ball will sort of fly and shoot. So obviously, the first level here, all we're doing is just smashing the... Uh, switch to open up the door Same with this second level so it does take a little bit of getting used to especially having to sort of jump and hit at the same time The only big hint I can give really is uh, Prepare your cue first make sure you're going for either a long shot or sort of a half bait shot Then jump and then release I was sort of jumping and trying to oh, <laughs> Almost button mash it in a way during these first couple of levels as you can see but it uh, Once you've got it mastered Oh, you are going to love it after 10 minutes, because we'll be done with the game. So yeah, just, um, I do show all of the achievements, even though I do fail sort of in a couple of levels as well. Uh, just to show that it, it is, you, it can be easy to fail. You can't obviously drop down any of these holes. That's all a danger. You will die and have to start the level again. But um, yeah, best thing to do, I mean, you can, you can do this in... Three, four minutes. If you had a perfect run, you could get it done in three, four minutes. Um, but if you're playing it for the first time, you know, you don't, don't, don't even worry about that. You just uh, take your time, just take it slow and enjoy yourself because you can't beat a nice, easy game now and again. I know, I know, we, we all complain about them, but sometimes it's nicer just to have a relaxing, easy 1000. So hit these three switches, you know, as best as you can. Try not to make them an absolute dick hole meal out of it like I have been right here. So when you hit all three, there's going to be a fourth one on the right hand side, just above the door. That's what we need to hit. That is basically the biggest hint I can give you. Line up your shot first and then jump, then release rather than trying to button mash your way through it because it'll take <laughs> quite a bit longer. So here we go. Smash the switch on the left first then. And uh, that should be that for this one. That's a nice, easy one. You can't beat that. Shoot it straight up now. This one shouldn't have too many issues. Give it a bit of a, give it a bit of a whack, but make sure they hit the switches at the top as well. But this one should give you no great difficulty. This one really should give you any difficulty, really. But it's just sort of knowing where to line up your shots. So this one's about top corner, top right hand corner. Make sure it goes in uh, in the box there. And then what I now there's another mistake that I made. What I would do is again line your shot shot up so that you're already pointing downwards, and then take the shot because you don't want to be pissing about with buttons in mid air. Trust me, I I've done it enough times on one of the later levels. So here we go. Then this one's easy enough. Just um, point your snooker cue right up, jump and uh, whack it up above yourself there. Stick your balls in. And if you don't stick your balls in well, at least you've got your, pool, uh, your snooker cue to stick it in. Whack the number 10 in. There we go. That's the door open. Let's carry on. <laughs> you knew there was going to be a, a ball joke in here somewhere. Right, so this one can be a little bit tricky, and I will show you why. Basically, if you hit it straight on, what's going to happen is it's just going to get stuck. 
White balls get stuck. Um, that's no good. And I will show you one more time. You've got to get it at a perfect angle. Because even if it's just a little bit too low, it's still going to go straight on. So you need to get it kind of at the perfect angle there. And what it should do then is just ricochet. You may not get it first time. It may take. It took me a, a couple of attempts there, but should be uh, should be no issues again when you sort of know what you're doing. Hit the switch with your blue balls. <laughs> that means two things, and away we go. So. I got lucky with that shot there, um, but what you need to do then, after you hit all four switches, smash it up the uh, big, big pocket above all of the switches there, and that will open the door. So yeah, I got lucky with that one, so that one may take you just a little a little bit longer, potentially. So in the number 10, what you got to do now is hit it, and then run straight away, make a dart for it, otherwise it will, the door will close on you, as you can see, so you've got to... Hit it as hard as you can, make a break for it before the ball gets to the other side. And then that enables the other door to open and the previous door to close. Clever. Clever, right? So this one gave me a ton of problems for some reason. But like I said earlier, with the, with the biggest tip I can give you there, just make sure your, pool cue, your snooker cue is pointing down before you hit them in. And then hit the switch and then put the ball in the last pocket right there. And that will be the end of this level. So, again, again, for some reason, this one took me a number of troubles before I realized I was being a bit of an idiot. But, you know, we get there in the end, huh? We get there. Get in there. Get in there, orange bow. Okay, so now we're coming up to a bit, a bit more trickier now. So, these need to be hit at an angle. This is the only way you can actually get them up. Uh, so you can hit, all you got to do is hit both switches, but you've got to get it sort of close enough and then hit it at an angle. So it's not too complicated, but again, it's one of those, as soon as you get used to it, it won't be too bad thing. So again, at a bit of an angle. Try not to just smash it all the time as well. That's what I was doing, and it wasn't working that well. So do the same then, up into the first corner, and then with this snooker ball, bit of an angle, and then that, go through the door. And then that'll be the game then, guys and gals. So that is literally it. You can literally get it done quicker than I just done as well. But, again, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope this one helped. Don't forget to check me out on all my uh, socials, Twitter, Patreon, Instagram. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share as well. And enjoy your easy thousand. I'll see you guys in the next one. Big love. And a big shout-out to TimG84 for the continued support.